been a while since I last made a YouTube video. I wanted to make a video for a while and things just kept happening. Mostly I didn't have any ideas, but one of my biggest fans and or hate watchers, I'm not entirely sure which one, suggested that I haven't entirely explored the avenue of gluing candy to my face. I am an adult woman, turned 27 years old this year. This is what I'm doing with my life. I am trying to sort of fix the problems that I had the last time I tried this video where I glued candy to my face. I'm recording this on my laptop, so number one, sorry if it's not great quality, but also because my eyesight is terrible. I gave up on wearing contact lenses years ago, so I don't have any that match my current prescription, meaning I need a big screen in order to see what I'm doing. That was kind of the problem that I had last time, that I didn't take into account the fact that I can't see for sh I also can't really wear glasses when I'm gluing candy to my face. It's also, why would you want to? While we're doing this today, I also was going to sort of give you guys an update on what's been going on in my life the past three years, and it's weird to say that it's been three years since I made a video, yet here we are. There's been a lot of changes in my life, some good, some bad. I wanted to keep you guys updated if you actually are still here and still care about me. That same hate watcher also gave me the suggestion that I should probably be using spirit gum to stick this to my face rather than eyelash glue, which is probably something I should have thought about last time. I am a little disappointed that when I went to Party City to get this, they didn't ask me what I needed this for because literally the only thing I was buying was spirit gum and a solvent. I even recorded the transaction and everything and they didn't say a word to me. Happy Halloween, I'm about to glue candy to my face. My friends are clairvoyant. I just posted this on my Snapchat story. I already have a friend who asked if I was going to be gluing them to my face. And another one who just asked me if that means I'm going to be making a vlog. You guys really do know me. I don't know what that says about me, that the first thing you think of when I post a picture of candy is that I'm gonna be putting it to my face. This episode of my life is really brought to you by my acne. I have had more acne as an adult than I ever did as a teenager. Right now, I have a serious breakout on my forehead. I'm sure this is probably just gonna make it worse. Also, do you guys like my shirt? Zero f given. It's one of the only Halloween shirts that I have. Thought it was appropriate for today. Let's go, girls. Before I stick this to my face, I have to make sure it's not poison, so I'm just gonna eat this broken one and see what happens. I'm gonna be real, I am that bitch. I love candy corn. I don't understand the hate for it. I think it's great. Somebody said that eating candy corn is like eating a candle, and I don't know about you guys, but when I was a child, I definitely wanted to eat candles. So I don't really see what the problem is. So the package of the spirit gum said to put it on and then wait for it to get a little bit tacky, which I think also was part of the problem from last time when I was using eyelash glue is that I just really put the eyelash glue on and then just stuck the conversation hearts to my face and didn't give it any time to actually sort of adhere. Candy is actually kind of heavy if you're going to be gluing it to something. You know, hopefully we did enough troubleshooting of what went wrong last time. Can I get a hell oh? They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. I would say stay in school or you'd end up like me, but actually, one of the things that happened in the past few years is that I finished my master's degree. I am now two degrees hotter, which is not saying much. God, this stuff smells awful. <laughs> I look so stupid already. Also, if my voice sounds a little weird, I am currently getting over a sinus infection. I already finished my antibiotics, but I'm not really seeming to get much better, so... That's fun. So like I said, I did finish my master's degree. I have a master's in psychology, specifically I have a master's of science. I originally was going to school to become a therapist while I was doing the MA program in marriage and family therapy. I did realize I don't think that that avenue is for me. And so instead I went with the master's of science because it was a more general degree and I didn't. We already have a jumper. That does now mean I don't really know what I'm doing with my life. I am still working an entry level job which has nothing to do with what my degree is in. If you guys have any career recommendations, let me know in the comments, especially if one of the qualifications is gluing candy to your face because I have proven that I am okay with that. Right now, if people ask me what I'm doing with my degree, the answer usually seems to be using it as a coaster. Considering this is what I'm doing with my knowledge and expertise in the field of psychology, I'm clearly not doing much of anything right now. You know, I mentioned that I am getting over a sinus infection. One of the things I probably should have done before I started this was blow my nose because I definitely feel like I need to right now. And I'm terrified of what that's gonna do to this if I even attempt to. Also, in case you're wondering why the background looks different from my last videos, I have moved again. I have lived at this apartment for a while. I also haven't made a video in a while, so none of you guys have seen it. Draw the cat eyes sharp enough to kill a man. Speaking of, I actually saw Taylor Swift in concert this year at the Eras tour. I was there the 
night before she announced 1989 Taylor's version, which was also very sad because that night was the night that she did the secret song I'd wanted from day one. Could you imagine you take your kid trick-or-treating and someone opens the door and you see this? What would you do? Do you think I can get Diet Coke to sponsor me? As I have mentioned a few times on this channel before, I do have a condition called Borderline Personality Disorder, and it really negatively impacts my mental health. A big part of the reason why I haven't been making videos in the past few years of gluing candy in my face or otherwise is because I've really been struggling with my mental health. For about the past year and a half, I have been in therapy, seeing my therapist typically once a week, and although I wouldn't say my mental health is substantially better, it has been really helpful. And I hope she doesn't think we're making like backwards progress when I see her tomorrow and I tell her this is what I did with my free time. Now, I never featured him on this channel, largely because when I asked him about it, he questioned why I even make YouTube videos if I'm not getting paid for it. But I was very close to my grandfather on my mother's side of the family, and unfortunately last year he ended up passing away after a very long battle with dementia and COVID. Well, I don't know that long is necessarily the right word. He had a very quick decline. Well, it wasn't really a shock when he passed. It was quite sudden. I still think about him every single day. Getting through that loss was one of the hardest things that I have ever had to do. But did I mention I have a freaking master's degree? Like this is the coolest thing I feel like I have ever done in my entire life. If you can see right here, I actually graduated magna cum laude. Of course I have this and this is what I'm doing with my life. It's still freaking cool. After a series of events that really could only be described as a comedy of errors, I'm actually graduating in the ceremony this year. I was supposed to participate last year. My school does graduations in October, so later this month I am finally gonna be participating in my graduation ceremony and I am so excited. In my immediate family, no one has their master's degree unless you count my sister's boyfriend slash my brother-in-law. They've been doing so long, I just call him my brother-in-law. Neither of my parents have a master's. My sister doesn't have her master's. I'm the only one. That said, I don't know what I'm doing with my life or with my education other than something like this. But it is really freaking cool still, in case you can't tell by how excited I am. I don't get excited about, like, anything these days. I also want you to know, I'm really only mostly recording when I have something to say. Oh. When I'm not, I'm literally just sitting here just so intently shoving candy onto my face. I feel right now like the Halloween version of Santa Claus. I do also live by myself at the moment. I do still have both my pets, my cat and my dog. My dog is now about 13 years old. She is a little old lady, but she still gets around great, has a ton of energy. I actually, for my birthday in August, got a new bed. We now sleep in a queen size bed, and yet we take up approximately the same amount of space as we did in my twin size because my pets still insist on cuddling with me even though we have so much bed. I know it's sweet, I'm like their entire life and everything as people keep reminding me, but it's still like I would like some room in my own bed. Although I don't really know what to do with my masters, I am still in school. I am studying to get a certificate in American Sign Language. Sign Language is something I have been interested in since I was a teenager. At this point it's been almost half my life. I already knew quite a bit of sign language before I started this certificate program. In fact, a lot of people in my classes tend to come to me if they have questions. I largely have been so far ahead of everyone else. I still need to take a couple of classes like intro to interpreting and classifiers, which I'm going to be doing in the spring, but I am mostly done with that. I <laughs> glued some of my hair under this <laughs> and I can't get it back out without disturbing my craftsmanship. Oh no, my face ID doesn't recognize me. There are two pieces on my chin that just will not stick and I don't understand why- Stop digging on the couch! I really hope I'm imagining this, but it feels like I can actually taste the spirit gum and I'm really hoping I'm wrong since I was just eating candy. I also am a little upset. It's a Pokemon Go community day. If my laptop will focus on the screen. It's a Pokemon Go community day. Focus. It's a Pokemon Go community day and I haven't caught a single shiny is what I'm trying to say. Also in this time, I did get a new laptop. This is my first time trying to edit a video on a Mac software rather than PC. I also am nervous now because the only thing that's really left is my forehead and my headband will not stay on my head. This ought to be fun. My skin is starting to feel really heavy. My hair is kind of sticking out like a mad scientist because like I said, this headband will not stay put. I am a little worried that when I'm done, my skin is gonna be like yellow or orange. If you ever think you haven't done enough to disappoint your parents recently, 
Just remember, I have a master's degree and I'm doing this. I have dropped so many pieces of candy corn on the floor. I really hope my dog doesn't come and eat them. Partially because at least half of them have spirit gum on the back. Okay, I just did my face ID and it worked that time. Why do you recognize me when I look like this? The last piece. Hopefully. It just hopefully it sticks right there. Trick or treat, bitch! So many of these pieces are broken. I feel and look insane. I glue candy to my face for the internet. And of course we have a jumper. I'm oddly proud of this. This turned out so much better than the conversation hearts did, but also slightly more terrifying. Cause darling, I'm a nightmare dressed like a daydream. Actually, I think I'm just a full out nightmare, but. And my face ID worked again. That is three times now when I look like this. I don't understand. Say cheese, bitch. I accidentally posted it on my story. I do not want certain people to see that I've done this. Although I guess if they're friends with me on Facebook, they'll see the link. I also really hope my therapist does not see this because I'm sure she's going to have a lot of questions. This is very uncomfortable. I feel like I need to go wash my face. Katie, do you love your mommy still even if she looks like this? Why not? My dog looks absolutely terrified of me. And honestly, I don't blame her. I just, I can't believe I did this. It turned out so much better than I was expecting. I'm oddly... Other than that, I'm oddly proud of this. I think this is gonna be my Halloween look 2023. What do you think? I'm absolutely somebody's dream girl. I just know it. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed that life update and also this weird activity that I just did. Hoping although not promising anything because we all know how that goes with me, that I'm going to make more videos here in the future. Probably not gluing candy to my face, but you know, you never know what's gonna happen here. I certainly don't. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. I'll have links and other good stuff in the description below. I make videos here sometimes that may or may not gluing edible products to my face, and I will see you guys next time. Peace out, Girl Scout! How this hurts so bad. Not that I ever claimed it was, but this may not have been one of my brightest ideas. I live in hell now. I think I just need to pour this on my face because I am now incredibly sticky. I finally blew my nose and the tissue got stuck. Kill me.